Okay, uh, time for another tutorial. So, um, this is the second in the series of four. I did one about a week ago, I think. Uh, I had four essays from four different students, and each of those had a particular mistake I wanted to draw attention to. So, the first one, which uh, we looked at last um, week, was... Um, an essay where uh, the student, he wrote an essay, but it was his first essay that he'd ever done in his life, I think, uh, whether in Russian or in English. And um, his main mistake was he didn't have a recognizable structure. He didn't have any uh, use of paragraphing. It was just written in a like um, a train of thought stream of, of consciousness way the vocab was good the grammar wasn't too bad but the main thing was no no structure no introduction body paragraphs conclusion etc so what we're going to have a look at now for today um somebody sent me an essay Let's have a look at it. Where is it here? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yeah. Now, um, I'll go. I'm going to go through a couple of um, things here, a couple of points. So, this is a real student essay um, sent to me by a guy from China. Um, that's not going to give the game away, really. <laughs> when you consider the number of uh, guys in China taking the IELTS test. So, um, I won't say who, but. Uh, he sent me this essay, and um, now there was a problem though. When I pointed out the main issue, he didn't understand it. He 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 didn't see what I was talking about. So to explain it further, I've written uh, I've just written a sample essay. I just did one. Now it's a little bit long. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure of a word count. Let's have a look. Ooh, it is a bit long. <laughs> oh dear, three hundred and 95 words, but it will serve to illustrate the um, the main point. So the main point with this essay here is going off topic, not, and well, no, not, well, not going off topic as such, but writing very generally about the topic, but not focusing on a particular question. Now, this is a very common mistake, lots of people do. Um, so, I don't know if he made a plan or not. This was just a, a sample he sent me. Um, so when you are analyzing your question, and this is the question here, some people say that the best way to improve public health is by increasing the number of sports facilities, such as gyms, etc. Others, however, say this would have little effect on public health and that other measures are required. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. Okay, so a discuss both views question. It's a balanced uh, essay, typical structure. I recommend. Um, sentence one, you paraphrase the question and or state both views. You can combine these two into a sentence or not, but we have to have a clear opinion in the introduction. And it always helps to have an outline or to briefly mention what your two main ideas are. If you don't, then you're not going to be getting a very good score. Well, you might get one, but you could, but you can certainly get a better score by having an outline. I've mentioned this before in other um, videos, so I won't say much about it now, about why it's important, but I would always uh, include it. So, restatement. We have to have a clear expression. I think I agree this essay will argue this essay agrees. I was talking with somebody about this last week and they were arguing about how you you can't say according to this essay or blah, blah, blah. As I told them, it doesn't matter. However it's expressed, it doesn't really matter because it says discuss both views and give your opinion. So you are the author. You have to tell us, me, the examiner, what you think. So either do it, I think, or in my view, in my opinion, this essay will show, this essay argues, 
However you do it, doesn't matter, but we have to have it. Okay, so in your body, what's the view? Discuss, explain it. Now, you can have one sentence to explain it. You can have two if you need. Doesn't matter. Again, I was talking with someone, they were saying, you have to have three sentences, four sentences, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, it doesn't matter. All that the requirements are, are that you, ex you know, you introduce, this is what the criteria says, you have to present, extend, and support your main idea. So, introduce the idea. Some people think, here's a reason why they think it, for example, and you can make a conclusion, a summary, extend the example, or you can have a third sentence here that ex extends the example or extends the idea a little bit more. doesn't really matter. There's more than one way to write an, an essay, of course, just so long as you have the main ingredients, one, two, and three. Present your idea, extend it, support it. That's what the criteria is calling for. So that's something to bear in mind. So same for paragraph two, the opposite view and your conclusion, whether you have it here or here doesn't, doesn't matter really, but you have to make sure that your opinion is clear because again, the criteria says, you know, a clear position throughout the response and we have to summarize and restate your main ideas. Um, I'll just show you the criteria once again. Just to show you what I mean. Where is it? Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. So, you present, extend, support your main ideas. Sentence one, sentence two, and sentence three your example. So, some people think the reason why they think it is, for example, blah, 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 blah. okay, so that's what you do for that. Um, and where else is it? Uh, yes, a clear position throughout the response. So, that basically means, you know, in the introduction and, and, uh, and in the con conclusion also, because that's how you present it all the way through, at the beginning and at the end. So that's what it's asking for, okay? So let's go back to hmm, the essay. Okay, so some people say that the best way to improve public health, increasing the number of sports, sports places, others say no. Okay, so this is the essay from the student. These days, people's health condition, people's health condition, or the, the health of people, okay, has become increasingly worse because of overload, work pressure, and lack of exercises. Well, it doesn't really say this in the, the question. It doesn't really say this. This is the detail that you should put in your body paragraphs, not in the introduction. All that you do for your introduction is simply to paraphrase the topic, not anything else. Many people hold the point of view that sports equipment, sports equipment or, well, equipment's not the same as a facility, but okay. Others believe that there are also some essential measures, also some essential measures. I'm not quite sure what that means. Other measures, maybe not also some essential measures, are required or un, uh, are needed. I would have maybe put... Um, something in there. Okay, so that introduction is not very good, really. It doesn't really introduce anything. Now, the example that I just uh, knocked up a moment ago, it's not too bad, I'd say a little bit long, but it, uh, it will um, explain my point, I think. So, uh, you can always use this to in in introduce your essay. It has been argued. It has been argued that increasing the number of leisure and sporting facilities is the most effective way of developing and improving the health of the general public. Well, others would argue this would have little impact on health and that other steps are needed. So it's kind of a long-winded paraphrase of the topic. Okay, so 
sentence one, you paraphrase the topic, mention both the viewpoints. Now, this essay will argue, so this is where the opinion comes in, that simply building new sports centres is not a viable answer. So I'm saying, well, my own opinion is that I don't agree with just building, building buildings. That's not a viable answer. And that the key to developing a healthy citizenry is education. So I'm going to be talking about why that's not a good idea. And my second thing, I'm going to be talking about education is key. Okay, so let's go back to the first uh, one. So um, what we need to, well, we, what he needed to be talking about in paragraph two was um, discussing the view that increasing the number of sporting buildings gyms, courts, pools, etc. is the best way. So, a large number of people cannot do adequate exercises regularly. Okay. You have to do extra work and learn advanced technical skills, keep pace with the modern world. Uh, okay. An engineer, great many issues, having a phone meeting, sign a contract for young parents. Um, now, essentially, this has nothing to do with the topic. When I told him this, he wasn't too pleased, but this is what you basically need. Paragraph two, it says, discuss the view that the best ways by increasing the number of gyms, etc. Now, what he's writing about here is why people don't exercise. Okay, so, you know, that's uh, generally part of the topic, why people can't exercise, but it's, it's not asking that. It's not asking you to talk about why people can't exercise. It's talk, it wants you to discuss is the best way to improve public health by building new sports kind of buildings, gyms, pools, basketball courts, whatever they may be. So this paragraph is essentially a waste of time. It's completely away from, so it's, it's in general about exercise, about why people can't exercise. But it's essentially, from the examiner's viewpoint, irrelevant. Nothing to do, it's not discussing that topic, which, well, sorry, it's not discussing that view. Do we need to build more sports, sports um, places, facilities to improve public health or oh, no? So that, so that is completely off, completely off topic. Now, the example that I uh, wrote here, let's just uh, put that on there. So, sentence one, you introduce it, then you have to explain it. Example, then you can either give a summary or um, extend the example. So, firstly, well, going to gyms and sports um, leisure centers is undoubtedly a good thing for a healthy life. It can be suggested that motivation is a key factor in getting people to exercise so the idea here is that well you know having more gyms etc uh okay but if somebody doesn't have the the motivation to get their ass out of a chair and go to the gym it doesn't matter if there's a thousand gyms in their hometown so i'm talking about this yeah okay so if a person does not have the desire or will to get out of their armchair and go and exercise and having a gym built at the end of their street will have little or no effect, you know. It doesn't matter if there's more gyms. I mean, that could be a factor for some people, but the main factor I'm saying here, motivation. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter. Now, then an example, a made-up example. A recent study by the University of Bath showed that 80% of people who buy a gym membership only went for the first two months and either went Oh, then basically they stopped. So, I mean, you know, anecdotal evidence, and I'm sure that those of uh, you who have joined a gym can attest to this. This is very common. This is what gyms rely on. People buy a membership, you know, like um, in the new year after Christmas, people have a resolution. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to stop being a fat bastard. I'm going to go and exercise, blah, blah, blah. So they all go and join a gym. So 
When you go to the gym uh, after the new year, there's always hundreds of new people with new sports clothes and the training. But if you go back a month or two later, most of these people have disappeared. So, motivation. So, this study seemed to back up the idea that motivation, not the availability of sports centres, is the main factor in exercising, which is, you know, a good thing for a healthy life. So, that's what you basically need for paragraph two. Discuss that view. Why um, do you think that... I mean, I'm saying here that I don't agree my opinion, but I'm discussing this. Well, you know, although having gyms is, is good, but if you don't have the willpower, you're not going to go. Okay. So, uh, next view uh, should be... Other measures, so little effect on public health, other measures are required. So, on the other hand, there are still many people living in rural areas who do, who, who do not have sports facilities. Okay, lead a flexible lifestyle, probably do not have to work overload or overtime, perhaps he that means. But a lack of facilities is the main obstacle. So I agree that government should increase investments, access to it. So this is kind of... So, again, it's off topic. The, the second view is increasing the number of gyms will have little effect and other measures are required. So, while this first one was talking about why people don't exercise, and I'm not sure why this is on the, on the other hand. So, this paragraph here seems to be talking about people don't have time. And then he's talking about people living in the countryside don't have access to uh, to these kind of things, gyms, pools, etc. So I agree that government should increase investments, access to doing sports. So this really should be in paragraph two. This, you know, the, the idea that for some people, and this is the public health in general that he's talking about in the countryside. So... This paragraph should maybe have been um, uh, here, paragraph paragraph two, and talking about, you know, for some people they can't exercise because they live in the parts of the country, in the countryside where we don't have gyms, so if they build gyms that will um, improve public health. But it's talking about public health in general, so you would have to specify the difference between town and country because, you know, as we know, and I'm sure it's the same in uh, your country, um, whichever that might be, that most towns do have gyms. They do have pools, courts, you know, arenas, etc., where people can exercise. So this is kind of going about the topic, but it's not as focused as it could be. So let's have a look at uh, the example. So... I'm discussing the opposite side now, the opposite view that this would have no effect and that other measures or means are required. What I'm talking about here, the other measure is government funded education campaign, education to show people of the dangers of not exercising, etc. And this is a better way than simply building a, a load of gyms and expecting people to magically go to a gym. So what might be more useful is a government funded education campaign to show people the dangers of not exercising, being sedentary, eating unhealthily, etc. Okay, so that's, that's the main idea. Explain it. Many people seem unaware of the the dangers, the modern way of life, and if this was pushed into their faces, and that's not very academic, but sorry, you know, <laughs> sometimes you just have to write with what you've got, you know, go with it as it as it um, were. So then they may take notice and take steps to live in a better way. So I'm so I'm saying, okay, you know, while having gyms might be good, but you know, most uh, people they need educating, they need to be told. You know that if you live in a certain way you're going to have some problems with uh, your health so um 
I had to give a particular, a more specific example. So, for example, when the government in the UK ran an anti-smoking campaign, doctors around the country reported an increase of 50% of people inquiring how to stop. So, I mean, um, that I, I don't think that's true. I made it up, but it seems reasonable uh, and plausible. And as I've said before about giving examples, um, as long as it's not an obviously ridiculous example, as long as it seems it's plausible, that will work because the examiners are not going to check. They don't have time and they don't care. So uh, this clearly demonstrates that, as in all things, education is often the most effective way to change people's behavior. So the two ideas here, okay, uh, you know, while having gyms might be good, you know, might be a good thing for a healthy life, having gyms, etc. Uh, if you don't have the desire to get off your ass and go and do some exercise, it doesn't matter if you have a, a thousand gyms in your hometown. So just having uh, gyms available doesn't mean to say that people are going to go. Okay. So the second view of the measures, um, if we educate people, then they'll take steps. Maybe they'll change their way of life. Maybe they will exercise. Maybe they'll stop smoking, drinking, etc. So now in conclusion, then we have to restate, we have to basically produce a mirror of the introduction. So in conclusion, the main problem in urban areas, well, it doesn't really mean so, so you can see what he's, so this is like kind of a, a new idea because uh, so he's he's broken it down, urban areas and in the countryside, but that's not what it's, it's talking about. So the main problem in urban areas, which he, he didn't specifically say urban in this paragraph. Now I've seen, now I've read this, I can see that might be what he's talking about, but he doesn't speak specifically say that okay people have to work excessively and lack spare time but what's that got to do with is it is the is is the best way having more sports buildings facilities or something else and this is basically nothing to do with the um, the question it's it's about the the topic of public health in general but very generally so the Solution may for them maybe to work reduce their working hours and stress. Well, it doesn't ask that. It doesn't ask that. For people who live in rural areas, establishing on sports systems can be a bit of choice. So essentially this is, you know, mostly way off topic. It's not addressing the question. So this is the most important thing. Well, no, perhaps not the most. It's one of the most important things. Um, this is one of the things that I see quite often. People writing about the topic in in general, very you know, very vaguely, but they don't have a particular focus, or they they go off. So as you can see, let's just have a look at it again. Um, best way: public health, increasing the number of sporting things. Okay, other measures. Not what this essay is about at all. There's some grammar mistakes, a bit of a vocab. But the main thing why this would get a, a low mark is it just it doesn't do what he's being asked. There's no clear opinion, at least not in the introduction. There's no clear uh, there's no clear opinion anywhere in the essay, and both these views have not been have not been um, talked about or discussed. Um, very general things about why people don't exercise, which is not what it's asking. Uh, in the countryside, well, it doesn't specifically say there's a difference between town and country. So in terms of task achievement, this would get a pretty low mark, maybe four or five, because it just doesn't do uh, what it should. There's one example here, but it's a very vague, very general, example doesn't make a lot of sense 
There's no clear example in this one. And of course, every essay says, you know, give reasons and examples. So uh, we have no clear position. Um, the, you know, the the main ideas are not not quite there. I mean, mm, irrelevance, which is a five. Mm, expresses a position well not really not really I mean you know if you don't express a clear viewpoint possession for task achievement and this is the official you know this is the official British Council unit of Cambridge criteria so according to this if you don't express a clear opinion it's only a three for task achievement. So, so there's some ideas irrelevant, some ideas were difficult to identify, irrelevant, irrelevant. So for task achievement here, you're looking at anything between three, four, five, if you're feeling, uh, if the examiner is in a, a generous mood or not. So that's, a, so I mean, you know, there's some minor things here and here too but the main thing that would pull this essay down is uh, a very low uh, task achievement achievement essentially it doesn't do what it should it doesn't answer the question there's no opinion there's no clear opinion there's no examples so that essay would not do very well at all so um oh yeah, yeah back to the con conclusion of my Example, as I said, uh, bu, 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 bu. restate your main ideas, restate your opinion, because it says all the way through. In conclusion, then, although having a ready availability of places to exercise may seem intuitively to be a good way to get people healthy, in reality, if a motivation to do so is not there, it will have little effect. A far better option would be to inform citizens of the harm that modern life is doing, educating them. So, um, you know, my opinion is indirectly expressed here. I say, well, having a ready availability will have little effect. A far better option would be to inform. So um, I could have made it maybe clearer, you know, but I think it's clear enough from the context. So that's the general idea so um, I'll post uh, these texts on my site and uh, you can uh, you can download those or copy and paste them and that should give you some ideas so great that's it for today um, if you want to get in touch if you've got any any questions you can always write to me at my address Kevin at prepare com. Uh, there we go. And uh, I'll see you later. Okay.